Wait, fuck this intro! Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Sam, or the Red and Footy on Gamers LP channel. Now, I just got accepted into this collab yesterday, and I am psyched. Or stoked. Whatever word I wanted to say. Anyway, we're gonna just jump right in and, uh, you know, read our old data, because who cares. Anyway, oh, we are let's playing Dragon Ball Z Budokai for the GameCube, and I am immensely excited. Even though it's 4 in the morning right now, I shouldn't be awake, but I am. Because I woke up at like 3.30. Don't, don't ask me why my sleep schedule is so derpy. But it is. Anyway, like I said earlier, back that intro. Not going to say the F-bomb, because I don't know if they say this on that channel. Or that on this channel. Anyway, I'm not going to be watching the cutscenes in this game, just so it'll go by a little bit faster. I'm sorry if that bothers you. But my game has a problem where sometimes, <laughs> when I, um... When I record, or not when I record, but when I, uh, watch some cutscenes, it freezes during them. So, sorry. I'm just gonna skip those. Anyway, first battle we have is against Raditz. Uh, just take a second to memorize those controls. Punch with A, kick with Y, key blast with, um, X, and guard with B. That's all you really need to know for this game. Um, pretty much. Anyway, start this off with the coming. Ah! Try to do all the uh, um abilities slash moves like skills. I'm gonna try to show you guys all those in battle, just for the sake of you guys being able to see what they do. Cause it can be kind of entertaining. I'm trying to do all those moves. Unless it's like a really really difficult battle, then I probably won't. Ow. I actually think this this battle uh, that we're doing right now is more difficult than the next battle, which is actually against Nappa. How did you? How did you? <laughs> anyway, cutscenes, and then more cutscenes and stuff. We got a skill, Zenku fist for Goku. Hooray! I'm excited. <laughs> and now, pretty much, is the part where we get um. What's his name? Reddit's in a full Nelson, and pretty much when the timer reaches zero, we have to be- Oh god, in where it's like blue, here in this little bar, that's where we have to be. When it reaches zero, please, please. I'm rotating the C-stick right now, but you can rotate either that or the analog stick- YES! First try. That is actually, believe it or not, kind of difficult. Yeah, so my mother went to a graduation party today for one of her friend's sons, and she brought home pasta. The pasta wasn't that great, but she also brought home two meatballs for me. And those meatballs were delicious as crap. I love, I love meatballs. Oh, that looks painful. Yuck, got me! Anyway, that was incredibly simple. <laughs> The first couple battles in this game are very, very simple, actually. After losing it's straight life, to Goku's quiet, Goku's fear. quiet fury. A lot of people make fun of this game's graphics, and they say like that it looks like it was made out of Play-Doh, but back in the day, this game was the shiz. Like, this was the game to play back in my... Well, back when I was younger. This was the game I would love to play. This is the game that got me into Dragon Ball Z. It got me into anime, really. Which is something that I love currently. I love anime. Ow! Hey! Knock it off, Nappa. When did you get strong? Oh, wait, you didn't. Hey. Thank you, Chris. Good job. Anyway, let's charge up some key. Uh, by clicking guard in whatever direction we're not facing, then. Um, I always hit L, R, and A to power up. I don't know what the actual button combination is. I just kind of do that. I always have. Oh, God! Get out of here, Napa. There we go! Oh my god, look at him go. 
do da 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 Overkill. So yeah, um the battles in this game really aren't that difficult. They do get difficult later on. I'm not gonna lie about that. Oh yeah, and sorry I'm not showing the cutscenes, it's just video time. Video time. I just want the first project I do on this channel to be kinda short. Super duel. That's just me. And sorry if I go over in videos, like, um, if I record, like, 30 minutes one time or something, and then I don't give a proper introduction after 15 minutes. I apologize about that. But I'll be trying to watch my time. Anyway, we get a new ability, Continuous Kamehameha, which isn't a uh, Kamehameha at all, it's just a ton of key blasts, but we'll do it anyway. Oh, that was just- There we go. I hate how they call it King Typhus in this game as well instead of KO Ken. That kind of bothers me. Hey! Knock it off. Wow. Wow! <laughs> Yay! We beat him. I'm so proud. You've matched my strength. Little did we know. Ability. We actually have another thing we have to do. We actually we have to fight against Vegeta. With little squirt mongler over there. That sounded very sexual. I did not mean it mean for it too though. I also don't remember if this fight happened in the anime or not. I'm pretty sure Gohan was all like <laughs> giant ape and then uh beat Vegeta, but that doesn't happen here. Oh. Uh, but whatever. We can do Masenko, so I'm gonna try to do Masenko. Can't kick over kick. Energy. All right, let's try to do Masenko just for the sake of. Yay! And let's check out their skills as well, because we can do kill quick. Oh, I hit him with it. There we go. Pro go home over here. Get out of here, Vegeta. Pardon my language, by the way. I mean, I swear a lot, and I don't know if the audience of Game of likes it. But, uh, Sorry. So yeah, pretty much we're already done with the Saiyan Saga, but I guess that's what you get when you don't watch cutscenes. Which I'm sorry for, but the cutscenes in this game... More or less, they're just time-consuming. Plus, I'm sure everyone and their grandmother has seen Dragon Ball Z, so... Yeah. Okay! Gohan turns the tables on Vegeta and brings him down then that's all I wanted to see. Now we go to Namek! Um, no, I'm not gonna return to main menu, you silly little goat. But, I am gonna check my time real quick. And we've only been recording for about nine minutes, so that's cool. I mean, we still have a couple minutes left. Let's go to Namek. I wouldn't be surprised if we beat this game in like four to five parts. Honestly, I think I might have said earlier. No, four to five parts, probably. Like the whole game. Nah, not four to five because it gets more difficult later on. I don't really want to edit out fails because that takes away from me raging, and raging is content. So, um, I'm probably like six to seven, honestly, that's it, though. Anyway, what we gotta do here is, uh, deflect key blast, which you do by when they're about to hit you guard. So I just use the KMA at the beginning to get him away from me. Gotta block 15 of them. Oh my god. By 
way, you hop back by clicking back twice, and you dash forward by clicking forward twice. I got on the analog stick. King Kai Fist times five, which is really KO Ken times five! Which I don't think he ever does. I don't get why Goku never goes Super Saiyan and then KO Ken in the anime, though. Because that would be badass as Nikes. Anyway, this time we have to enter this thing called, I think it's like burst mode or something. And pretty much you're just gonna do one of these attacks and then spin your analog stick. And depending on how fast you spin it, you will win or lose the thing. I'm spinning the C stick though because it's more comfortable for me. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna win this one though. I think I will. Oh no. One thing that annoys me about Vegeta in this one is that he always does like normal attacks. And that's not cool. And he can kill you sometimes because the thing wasn't designed correctly. Pretty much what I do to do whenever I enter one of these early is I spin the C-stick and the analog stick with both my thumbs because you don't have to do it that uh, hard and generally you might win. I don't really know what determines entering one of these attacks, but to do one of these attacks you just click a direction then R and A, pretty much that's what I do. Yay, and we won! Hey, looks like... I'm an owl. Oh yeah! Attacking two games, one offering of time versus I'm so proud of him! I'm so I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. I almost cried. And that's like stupid, but dude, I was so excited. He won a versus and I was so happy for him. Yeah, it's go time. Let's get down to business. Alright, now we pretty much gotta use Oh, we got a new bit. We gotta use um one bar of health to defeat a Vegeta, which is pretty much just as strong as the one we faced on Earth. So anyway, uh, just grab him right off of that punch and guard at the same time. Oh god, I didn't want to enter one of these. I did not want to enter one of these at all. God, I did not mean to do that. I meant to hit him away so I could- Guys. Oh, when you go into these, your uh, attacks do more damage as well. Yay, and we killed him, I think. Cheetah, wake up. And I personally think that this marks the end of the, um... You get a sense of being for doing that, by the way. I think this marks the end of the Saiyan Saga. Technically, it since we just did a whole saga in one video, I think that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Budokai on the Gamers LP channel. Sorry this was a short episode, and stay tuned because I'm going to be uploading this at least twice per week, I hope. So, uh, yeah. See you guys later, and I'll put a link to my channel in the description. So, bye guys. Have a nice day.